599 GTO versus 124 Spider. Okay, so we are going to grab our 599 GTO, which is definitely stock. And I will, you know, I'll prove that it's stock by going to the shop and everything. But it should be. I mean, because I've never driven it. Actually, I don't even need to go to the shop to prove that it's stock. It's freaking stock. I've never driven this car. All right, so let's head off to the highway and see what kind of speeds this 599 GTO can post. And I've never run a stock one before, so I'm very curious. These things are so beautiful. Like, it's one of my favorite shapes that Ferrari ever made. Let's see what it sounds like. Yo, JFez07, thank you for the follow. Oh, that sound from inside. Listen to that. That's like such a crazy, like, mechanical sounding induction noise. Listen to that again. Jeez. Let's see if it likes to slide. Hello. Cut my slide off a little bit, but I'll take it. It can do it. It's not the best in the world at it, but it can do it. I mean, if you put it in third, ah, if you put it in third and you really stick with it. There we go. Wow, it's like exactly just balancing the RPM range. I haven't lifted. I literally have not lifted oh, until then when I had to e-break it and I looked away, I looked at the chat and screwed up my line, but that is super balanced. Oh my God. All right. Let's get those guesses out there. What is the 599XX? Oh, the, sorry, not the 599XX. The 599 GTO. What is it going to run? 186, 178, 176, 193, 178, 175. 205, 185, 200, 200, 209, 190, 198, 198. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Easy launch. Come on. All right, let's go. Guesses are done. And 178 flat, so exactly 178 miles an hour. Yo, Forza Master 2704, thank you. Um, welcome back. So let me, uh, let's see, what are we doing next? 124 Spider. And I'm going to buy another one. That one's kind of a specific one, if that makes any sense. Um, but let's buy one brand new, off the lot, take it to the highway stock, see what she does and we're buying it in well mm, I actually kind of dig it in red because the Ferrari's red and and I'm going to be that guy you know what I mean I'm going to be the guy that bought a Fiat in Ferrari red ish you know what I mean Feels like it revs so slow after driving that Ferrari. Wow, it actually spun its rear tires for longer than I thought it was going to. That's brilliant. Is it a Splitey Boy? Oh, come on. We'll find out more about whether or not it's a slidey boy when we get to the roundabout. I like it, though. I mean, it's definitely... I've driven... Wow, it, I was going to go around your left, and you turned that exact direction. Okay. I've driven multiple MD Miatas and really enjoyed them, but I've never driven a 124 Spider, and I feel like... 
Like, I'm sure it's a blast. I just want to feel like, I just want to feel what a ND Miata chassis that has torque feels like. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's actually, so it's really comfortable sideways. It just, like, I'm flat on the throttle and it doesn't have enough power to continue to slide. You have to inertia slide it. That's, like, the only way. You can do tiny little power rotations, but very, very, very small. Very small. Let's see, 132, 150, 130, 121, 126, 120, 120, 126. There are a lot of people saying the 120s. Um, have you ever driven a Supra? I've actually driven a Mark IV that was fairly stock, which was really fun. And go! Alright, let's see. Is it going to be 120s or 130s? I'm a... I... Uh, it's weird. It's like I say 130s and then I go, eh, that might be a little high. There's a hundred. Wow, 121. That was a little low. Like, that was a little low. I don't know. I don't know if, like, I even expected it to be that low. I thought it was going to be faster. You know what I mean? Like, 121, kind of eh, you know? Um, but let's go back to the shop. Let's build this thing now and actually see what we can get out of it, especially get out of it on the factory engine. Can you build it to beat the car it's going up against without swapping it? It's always like, can you do it without swapping it? You know what I mean? Uh, but let's go straight to the garage and see what we can get out of the stock motor. Um, I don't even know if the stock motor has that much potential or not. Let's see, right now, a couple of mods. One, oh, oh god. Oh, that's not much power. I mean, it's more torque than horsepower, but still. That's really down on the whole power end of things. Race Turbo gets us another 52, which is less than I was hoping for. Uh, gotta be honest, less than I was hoping for. 400 horsepower and 388 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, that might be a little low. At least for what we're gonna try and do. That, that might be a little on the low end. I don't know, though. I'm really trying to do this without, like, without going for some crazy extra engine. Um, what's it gonna weigh out at? Exactly at 2,000 pounds. 400 horsepower might be good then. Might be. I say might, and I say it cautiously. Really cautiously. And now, we should be good to go. Apart from the fact that I'm gonna look and see what swaps we have. Oh, God. Oof. Turbo rally motor. I'm not even gonna come back. Like, even if we lose, I'm not coming back to put the turbo rally motor in it because... Yeah. No. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Because you guys, you guys are always like, and not only you guys, but me too at this point. I don't think any of us are fans of the Turbo Rally engine. And not only did you guys make that like very apparent and make me very aware of it, but like, I don't know. I like it, but only in certain cars. You know what I mean? Let's see how this thing sounds and goes now. That's angry. Listen to that blow-off valve. And go! Question is, is it the baby Ferrari it wanted to be? And it's quick! It's definitely very peaky though. Like if it falls below 5,000 RPM, you have like no boost. Like it literally feels like the car is just like bleh, and then it wakes up at like 5,000. Definitely don't expect any torque down low anymore. There we go, just have to keep it floored. And very occasionally you can do a little little lift, but very still very occasionally it's a little lift, tiny lift. And oh god, I was like, yeah, hard on the brakes for that. 
All right, let's get those guesses out there. Come on, people. 150, 150, 21, 150, 170, 157, 130. Let's go. Trying to get out of the hole with as little wheel spin as possible. You get in a fairly good job. There's 100. There's 120. There's 130. Into fifth. There's 140. There's 150. There's 160. 169.32 miles an hour. So nine miles an hour slower, fully built, than a stock 599 GTO. Which, for this engine, and for the fact that we only make 400 horsepower in comparison to that car, that's really impressive. Really, really, really impressive. But, now, we are going to move on from this episode of Stock for the Tuner, at least this battle, um, back into some seasonal stuff, and then we're going to come back for another Stock versus Tune battle after the next round of seasonal stuff is over, alright?